But if you go back to, say, the 18th century and you read, say, Diderot, uh, he explains, Diderot, that uh, he says, here's a prediction for you. He says, France is going to be the language of science, and German and English will be the languages of literature. And the reason for this is that French is very clear. In France, the words follow the order of the thoughts, whereas if you, look at, if you listen to German and English, the words don't quite follow the words of the thought. So French is good for telling the truth because of its, what later came to be called, its Gallic lucidity and clarity. Whereas a German and, uh, I think he, his examples were German and English, maybe Italian, so they're good languages for telling fantasies and falsehoods, so they'll be the languages of literature. Now, you, you can, it's a sort of naive point of view, but you can see what was going on in his head. I mean, for him, the words in French follow the order of thoughts. Uh, when you hear German, it seems all confused. I mean, they're thinking in some other way. Speaker of German looks the opposite, of course. 